So Aventador is um, definitely one extra step. <laughs> In another episode of Aventador Maintenance. Today is a day when we're gonna do a brake job. Now it's pretty simple, you guys. Brakes are brakes when it comes down to Lambos or Hondas. Uh, only difference is, is these are about four times the size of every other car. So we're gonna show you today how to uh, do the brakes on an Aventador. And uh, today, maybe we're gonna do rotors too. We got carbon ceramic rotors need to be weighed in order to understand if they're good or bad. These rotors usually last about 100,000 miles on a typical uh, Lamborghini. You don't quote me on that because every use is different. But for our use here at Royalty Exotic Cars, we've noticed that the OEM rotors go for well into the 80 to 100,000 mile range. Now this Aventador here does not have anywhere close to that amount of miles, so they're probably good, but we're gonna weigh them just in case. I've got the, the key of life here to get our lug nuts off, get our wheels out. I'm gonna lift the car up, and we're gonna prepare this for the brakes. All right. All right, we got the wheels off in the front. So wheels off, you can see the pad depth here. It's essentially right on the limit for... You, uh, you gonna get that? It's right on the limit for this sensor. Stupid phone rings is non-stop. Okay, so on the brake caliper itself, you've got the pads on each side, you have the two bolts here that hold this side of the pad in, and you have the two bolts on the other side, right? The sensor, and then caliper bolts top and bottom. I removed these bolts here, all four of them, so the pads are free. But the pads, unlike other, uh, like a Huracan, would normally come out the back, but the caliper design prevents that. And also the hat design here prevents that. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the actual caliper off. Let's see if I can unloosen this by hand. You got that right there? Now the caliper is free. Set this up here. You have the used pads, okay? I am gonna set this just right here. I'm gonna take off the rotor so that we can get um, get the uh, T25 maybe. I'm gonna take off the rotor so we can get the weight on it. Make sure that that's always up to par. Every time we do pads, you want to see you see your minimum weight here is 722, uh, 7,220 grams, right? So we want to make sure it's above that. Uh, we have a scale, so it's going to allow us to, uh, to weigh that there. And uh, if it comes up above that number, we're good. We put it back on. And then the next time we change the pads, we weigh it again. So after review, um, the weight is actually acceptable, but uh, it's very close. And um, I think that the rotors will eventually go bad while the pads are still good. And so we're gonna replace them. I actually already have a spare set and I've already wanted to replace them anyways. So we might as well just take this advantage and replace them today. So rotors are going on. So, oh. new rotor is in, and now you are about to put this pad in, but we're just getting these pistons down too. I'm, I'm trying to get in there for you guys, but Houston's moving around a lot. All right, so pads are in. Caliper is going back on. It's looking pretty snug. What do you think? What do you think? Looking good. What do you think? Looks great. All good right. Job, Houston. All right, so now 
putting on a bow right there, secure it in place. Alright guys, uh, everything's good on the brakes. Now it's going to slide in right here, just slid the sensor in. Next thing we have to do is apply pressure, but I'm going to go ahead and do the other side before because right now the basically the pistons and everything is kind of sitting a little bit farther apart. They're a little bit, you know, like kind of like not loose, but they need to have pressure to be applied so that we can get it on there. So this side, passenger side is done. We're going to go ahead and uh, torque everything down, make sure it's all at the spec and uh, we're going to start the passenger side. All right. So or before, driver's side. Before we get to that, um, what are the steps to this? Okay. Full steps. Remove the wheels, All right? In this case, remove these two bolts here, two bolts in the back and the sensor. Now, if your sensor has already gone off, you need to replace your sensor. My sensor didn't go off yet, so I didn't have to replace it. I left the sensor alone, but with the new pads and everything, you can always replace the sensor. But for us, we didn't use it, so we're all good. Then you remove this caliper here by the top bolt and the bottom bolt. You slide it off. We took the rotor off by the, obviously the wheel studs and this little pin right here. Then your rotor is off. You weigh the rotor. You decide if you need a new rotor or not. And then you put new pads in the caliper, put the rotor on, put it all back together and you're done. Not too hard of a job. In a Huracan, it's actually much easier than this because in the Huracan, you have uh, the pads just slide out the back. You don't have to remove the caliper. So Aventador is, um, it's definitely it's one extra step, but not too bad. So this side here is actually better than the other side. I wouldn't have replaced these yet. Where, um, can you grab the other rotor, Jesus, and, or the other uh, pad and we'll show them. You can see right here. See the difference? This is about like one day away from being on the uh, brake bar, the brake wear bar, and this is about maybe two weeks away. So that just means more people are braking inside right turns than left turns. So essentially, your brakes typically don't, your front brakes typically don't wear evenly all the time, just because you know you have when you're turning, you're putting more pressure on the path. So. No, we need this the wheels. All right, so I have a question for you. Yes. Um, so this took about 45 uh, minutes at most each bridge yeah. break, each side. Now, at the dealer, this would take them what? Typically, they'd hold the car for like what, two, three days? I would say that if you took your car to the dealer, the, the estimated time could be one full day, right? Uh, but at the same time, it's not that the dealer is slower, right? They just charge a little extra. You know, so if they if they work two hours on a job, they they charge what the book says. I have no idea what the book says. I don't have the Lamborghini book. We should reference that book one day and find out what it says, because maybe it only says four hours. You know, but uh, I mean, this job would what cost you like a thousand bucks? Oh, in labor, yeah. In labor, the the rotors alone are I think are seventy five hundred bucks a piece. Like, no, wait, they're way more than that, huh? Um, because I remember I paid 9,000 a piece for the 48 ones, and I bet you Aventador ones are way more. I don't know, we'll have to check. Um, you know, we get, a, we get a little bit different deal with, um, with parts. So pads and rotors for a typical Lamborghini are, I don't know, usually 15,000, right? So that's pretty expensive. We'll double check the price and hopefully uh, throw it in the video here for you. So you guys, uh, we're gonna throw the wheels on it, apply pressure to the brake, and then go and uh, seat them, right? So. On our way. Be right back. Wheels are on. And we're about to drop it. Are you ready on the drop? Gonna tighten the bolts real quick. All right. Well, I'm gonna get ready over here. And that, guys, is how you change on an event station. Five to ten minutes. Five minutes. Almost there. Good day, Junior. All right, and cars on the ground. Let's get a cold start to end the video. And, and a we'll rev. Be out of here. And a rev. And a rev.
Come on, do something cool. 